Day 1, Robot and Attachment Design Tutorial for FLL Submerged 2024-2025 Hello everyone, today is the first day of the 15 day series, building a robot using the Spike Prime Base Kit, set number 45678. In this video, I will be explaining the robot, showing the building instructions and example attachments. Afterwards, I will give you ideas to iterate the robot and attachment design. Let's dive in. We're first going to show the robot. The robot in question is made using the Spike Prime base kit, which has three motors in total, two medium and one large. It also has one castable bearing, which we use to even it all out. We have used two small Spike Prime motors, two small Spike Prime wheels, and we have one frame so we can slip. On, we can make slip on slip off attachments like so. One, two. Can just take it off so easily they slip on slip on part two will be the building instructions hello everyone we're now going to start building the robot you're first going to want to start off your frame like this have two blue pins on each side at the very edge of the robot then you want to grab two black pins and put them here and put one here on opposite ends now you want to take your hub and you want to place it down like so then you would you want to get your motors and you're going to want to get one two more you're going to want to get two more blue pins, black pins and you're going to want to put them here you do the same on the other side now you want to connect these both to one to a port port a so and that and the other to port B. Now what you're going to want to do is to make sure the wires don't go loose everywhere you're going to want to get one clip like this and you're going to want to get one axle slash pin and then you're going to want to put that inside here to hold the wire in place. See that's done. Now you're going to want to bring back the wire and tuck it under so it doesn't come up. For the other for the other wire you're gonna wanna get another one of those and you wanna feed you go, you would want to feed the wire through there and then get the rest of the wire and stuff it in. Now you're going to want to flip your robot and get one large motor. It needs to be in this orientation with the wire facing down. And you, you want to now get four of uh, these pins, these grey pins and you're gonna put one on each here one here can you see so like that on both sides now you want you are going to want to get this wire and connect it to port c now what you want it to do is you want to get one uh, square frame which is three by three and you're gonna want to get two of these and get two pins to, to form a structure like this now you put them on the robot here like so and you get one pin here and another pin here 
you always then want to put these small L beams on and then you go like that's your main motor secured in then get two pins and a gear and put them in the robot now get two pins and one more of these three by threes and put them on either side like so now you're gonna wanna assemble your main frame so first you're gonna put four of these here and then you're wanna, gonna wanna get two four back pins two on each side and attach that on top now and now you're gonna wanna put two pins onto this beam and you're gonna wanna feed it through the middle and then there should be two and you would just press that down you might want to do this at an earlier stage now you get one more of these wire clips you find your large motor and just for extra so make sure it doesn't go loose hold that down as well but just before we move on to the wheels and castables you're gonna want to get this panel and assemble it like so there's four pins facing inwards then you're gonna want to flip the robot and put the panel here to make sure none of the wires go loose now for the castable you're gonna want to get two blue pins and one three beam you're gonna put that like so and then you're gonna put that in the middle at the very front where the motor is and finally for the wheels get like so add four if you want to then get another three and then put that in and that's the robot done here is one of the example attachments that i have created for this robot if you would like to pause the video to have a look please do as you can see it is made from using one frame two j beams such so two j angled beams two ax three axles four three gears and one and, and one axle connector as well as many other parts if you would like to have a more detailed look please do and it just goes on the robot like that if you would like to have here is a closer look 